Hello everyone, lovely sunny day here on the plot today. I thought I'd give you a quick weekend update uh, and then I'm going to get a harvest, going to take some veg home today. So we'll crack off into the polytunnel first and uh, we're going to have a look at something in there. <laughs> so in here we've got, these are the marigolds that I just potted on literally two days ago. And these are the ones that came out of sieve compost. I shook the compost off and potted them on. And these are just loving life and they're racing away now just two days after potting on and the growth is fabulous so i'm pleased with them and i've had to put up a few extra hanging shelves up here because <laughs> i haven't got my bench space ready in the small polytunnel so these are the two new ones you've just seen here and this is the stuff you've already seen down here and I've got a fourth one down here <laughs> ready to go should I need it because at a minute those marigolds are living on the floor. Right, we'll go and have a look out the back. So out on the back of the plot, these beds are now mostly made. I'm just at the point of finishing them off. Uh, there's a couple of stakes to put in, a couple of more battens uh, and then I can start to get them filled up. You can see from these ends, if I just come up here, because of the hill that I'm on the incline here, these are terraced down the hill. This is the bottom, the lowest area. But on these side of the beds, on the left-hand side, they're actually quite a bit lower. So I'm going to import some soil from some areas. I've got some scraggy areas over there in the corner. That's all, all old weeds and stuff in there. But I'll dig some of that out and fill these, these end parts of these beds up. And then I can start wrapping the insides with plastic, just the inside of the wood, keep the wet off the wood. And then hopefully by the end of next week, I'll be filling them up with compost week after planting. So it's all good and it's all happened quite quickly or quick. Yeah, quite quickly. So I'm very pleased about this. I'm starting to run out of potatoes at home. So it's off to the green side up shop, which is in, in this small polytunnel here. I've got about half a dozen of these buckets left and hopefully we've got some potatoes in them. Starting to chit. <laughs> but that's all right. That's actually been eaten, I think. Yeah, that one's been eaten a bit. Also ready to be harvested is this chap. Bit of an extreme pruning measure. Can't find the pruning shears anywhere, but that'll do the job. There we go, fairly happy with that. Magic. So this button on squash has grown on well, so we're going to get some more off this today. I won't pick all of it, because we have got cabbage already. But yeah, this is uh, good stuff. I did call it the other week, I did say it's uh, the ultimate allotment of fast food, and it is, because it's so quick to cook, blinking delicious. It's really expensive to buy as well, so the fact that we can harvest this is uh, is a bonus. And we're not just sort of limited to what the little packs that you buy are stuck with. We can have a great big plateful. There we go, I'll take some of this one as well. Absolutely brilliant. There we go. I think that'll do us. So this is what I'm taking home today. Brilliant, eh? Love it. So I'm back in the greenhouse at home and right now at the moment since spring we've got some very unseasonable, very warm and very sunny bright weather. Very cold at night, frosty and in the daytime very clear skies because it was frosty and 
warm sunshine and that can play havoc with your plants at home if you've got a greenhouse at home or if you've got a, a greenhouse or a polytunnel on the allotments or wherever they can heat up super quick and they can catch you off guard if you're not careful so this morning i came in here i watered everything which i check the water in every every morning to be fair but for the first time this year i actually opened the light on this greenhouse and I left the door ajar just an inch, which is enough for a throughput of air. Even though these propagators hit, this propagator here is switched on, and this heat mat here is switched on, it's still keeping the root, zo root zone of the plants warm. I will allow him for the ventilation because even one of these things here um, will be enough to cook your plants if you leave them. Even if you water them in the morning, if you left that on and came back at lunchtime, chances are those plants will be dead. They'll just get fried because they've got the double, um, the double bubble in here. It gets warm in here from the sun on the glass anyway. And then with this enclosing it, it also warms it up and will fry your plants. So just be aware of that. Make sure your plants get ventilation. If you are got, got plants on a propagator like I have here, leave that switched on. You are losing heat, you are venting the heat out, but you want to keep your plants toasty and warm, but you don't want to fry them. So, and also don't forget, as of now, it's, uh, it's getting on in the afternoon. It's about three, four o'clock. So it's cooling down out there. Close it up now and close all the polytunnel up and uh, down at the allotments that's all closed up so everything is now protected against the really cold night we're going to have as well so you've got to keep your eye on that through the season because you spend a lot of time and a lot of effort putting into these plants so don't lose them just by missing a simple trick like this so it's been a good week for me i've managed to get plants potted on managed to get projects moving like this um, raised beds out there and it's a case of, you know, you do 10 minutes here, put it down and go and do something else. But this is what keeps you on track. And I'm organised up here and know where I'm going next. And hopefully, as I said, these beds will be filled by the end of next week or by the start of the week after, certainly. Then I can get planted on them. I've got flowers and stuff ready to go out in these beds. So really need them ready as soon as possible. Once that's done, then I can sort of tidy up around the area and around the front of the plot and be thinking about planting the rest of my stuff. All these plants need to go out eventually that I'm, I'm surrounded by now. Some of these need potting on. And there's still more seeds to sow, which I'll be sowing in the greenhouse. Uh, probably this week, actually, there's a, there's a few to go in this week because I've got the space at home. Um, also, don't forget that on Monday night, 7 o'clock, We've got the live stream on Tony's channel. I'll put a link in the description so you can find it. Uh, myself and Tony and hopefully Audrey will be on again. And we'll just spend an hour just talking about gardening, answering a few questions. And just basically, as Tony put it to me the other day, just chewing the good about gardening. So yeah, look look forward to doing that. That's, that's good fun. Uh, we have a good crack and I think it's enjoyable for most. So don't forget, tune in Monday night at seven o'clock for that. But for now, this is it. Look after yourselves, everyone. Please stay safe. I'll see you all very, very soon. Toronto.